there guys and welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans. This is your host, this is AJ Gaming and today we will be discussing the Sui Lalo attacks at Town Hall 12. Now if you're new to my channel, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you are first to know when I bring out my latest video. And I just want to do a massive shout out to everyone that has supported the channel over the last couple of weeks. Thank you so much. Now back into the video and today, as I said, we'll be discussing in a bit of detail the Sui Lalo attack. Now like most attacks when you're doing a war, um, they come in three different phases. And for phase one for the Sui Lalo attack, that is the Sui part which is done by your Barbarian King and Archer Queen. Now where you decided to drop your King and Queen that is up, entirely up to you but it's wherever you think you can get the most value from dropping your King and Queen. Now you can take an Ice Golem, you can take a Pekka if you wish to or War Breakers this part is entirely up to you of how you want to tank your king and queen. If you just want to use your king to tank, that is entirely fine and get your queen to try to get as much value as possible. And what I mean by that is that is either taking out an enemy queen, which is really important at for the uh, Lolo part, which is phase two, um, either an, an inferno tower, an air defense, hopefully the clan castle so if you can try to get the clan castle out that would be perfect and if your queen has enough health and you haven't used her ability even better you can drop the poison on that get rid of those clan castle troops so then you can get straight into phase two of this attack now it's time for phase two to deploy your la loon troops which is your lava hound and your balloons along with your grand warden Make sure your Grand Warden is on air. And once you've dropped your troops, it is really crucial that you get your spell timing and placement done correctly because if it isn't, that can cost you from getting that free star. It can stop from your balloons pathing into the right wrong direction. So you want them to keep going the way you want them to go. So that's when you drop your haste spells. Um, now always remember, if you have gotten towards the town hall and you haven't reached 51%, it won't activate. So I take a earthquake spell. So once your balloons are towards that town hall, or even just about to go over the town hall, drop that earthquake spell, it'll activate the Giga Tales at town hall 12. And then that's when you can either drop your rage, grand, hit that grand one ability so your troops stay alive. And also I bring the skeleton spells. So I bring two skeleton spells so if at phase one you haven't been able to take down the enemy queen this is when you drop the skeleton spells so you have to be really careful of where you put your skeleton spells because the queen can jump from compartment to compartment and if you hit the rage with the skeleton spells it does take out the enemy queen quicker while she's distracted at shooting the balloons from above. So again, it all comes down to dropping your troops in the right spot and spell timing and placement for phase two. Now when it comes to deploying your stone slammer, that is entirely up to you if you want to do it at the start of phase two or towards the end of phase two, that is fine. It just depends on what you've got in the stone slammer, what troops that you have chosen to bring with. If you have a clone spell, you might have an electro in there with some loons so you can clone that electro so that's another way of taking out the enemy queen at the start but for the attack I'm going to show you soon soon I have brought loons with the stone slammer more of a traditional way of doing it and you'll see that I do use it quite late but again entirely up to you when you want to deploy your stone slammer now that your la loon is powering through this base through the use of your Laloon and your Hay spells, it is time for phase three, which is your cleanup troops. Now I take minions, you can have a wizard, you can have archers. I find the minions 
to be a little bit quicker and a little bit cheaper for your troop space compared to say a wizard. Now it is entirely up to you again when you want to deploy phase 3, you usually do it towards the end of phase 2, they kind of intertwine together. So what generally would happen if you've got a complete area that is defense free then you can start to deploy your minions. They can start to collect as much percentage as possible so you don't end up with a time fail as the balloons target defenses first before they go to every other building. So again, once you've got a whole area clear, you can drop some minions, some archers, some wizards so you know that they won't be taken out and they can get as much percentage as possible. And that is pretty much how to do a Sui Lalo attack. Again, three phases. One is using your king and queen to get as much value as possible. Then once that is done, you can deploy your Laloon troops with your Grand Warden. Again, make sure you can get that enemy queen out. Make sure to bring an earthquake spell to activate that town hall. And then once your Laloon, your loons are powering through the base, drop those cleanup troops. And that is pretty much step by step of how to do a, a Laloon attack. Now I'm going to show you a replay of what I've done the other day. And again, we'll go step by step of how I did it. And hopefully this will give you the best opportunity to get some practice on how to do the Sui Lalo attack. Now with my Sui Lalo attack, what I wanted to do was to start down the bottom left and to try to get as much value as possible. I wanted to get that Archer Tower, Bomb Tower, Air Defense, hopefully the Expo, the Single Inferno Tower, and quite possibly the Archer Queen. And then after that, I was going to deploy my La Lune attack from the opposite side, aiming towards straight towards that town hall. And once they get towards that town hall, if the percentage wasn't above 51%, I was going to drop that earthquake spell and hopefully get rid of a couple of those air defenses, the Eagle Artillery and watching where the queen was so I can drop the skeleton spells with the rage and get the queen out of the way and then once they've gone past that stage I'll hopefully a bend around the corner up towards the top there and hopefully get that free star now let's get into attack and let's see how it goes like I said I started down the bottom left with my king and the queen and with the king the Archer Tower has been distracted. I dropped my Wall Breakers, which is able to open up that pathway and hopefully get as much value as possible. And hopefully this Queen decides to turn around because sometimes she doesn't want to pay attention and go the other way. And luckily for me, she decides to turn around. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been a very good start. Queen has managed to get quite a bit of value here. Pop that Tesla, which I was not expecting. Got the Inferno Tower out of the way. Got an Archer Tower out of the way. Didn't get the Expo or the Wizard Tower. And the Queen is still 100%. But that's okay. Now it's time to deploy my Laloon attack. And still the same, I decided to start from the other side. Copped a couple of the Seeking Air Mines. But that's okay, I dropped my my hounds last. Sometimes I drop them first, I want to drop them last this time just to see if it was going to be a bit better because sometimes they fly a little bit too far. And again, look at all those little air mines there. But managed to get the loons right into the middle, hit that Grand Warden ability. As you can see, the queen is distracted. I've decided to drop the Skeleton spells, that hound was still alive, so that was perfect timing. So the queen was actually attacking the lava hound, and as you guys know, the lava hound does soak up a lot of damage. And I've already gone to stay phase three. Um, my minions around the edges, there is no defenses, so it's time for them to start their cleanup. I didn't even drop my poison spell just because no, no clan castle was activated, so that was perfect. 
Still had a haste spell and a freeze spell. I dropped my stone slammer from the top left, which was, like I said, I decided to drop a lightness attack. Drop that poison just to get rid of some of those air skeletons. And as you can see, the minions are cleaning up around the outside. Perfect looking attack. Couldn't have been happy with it. So again, guys, this is how to do the sweet Lalo attack. Now it's time for you guys to go out there, practice. Let me know how you go in the comments. And again, guys, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. If anyone you know that plays Clash and would like to learn how to do this Sui Lalo attack, it'll be forever grateful. And again, guys, as always, happy clashing.